welcome back to Toy Transformations. I'm Shell and today I'm gonna show you how to transform a Barbie doll, a Ken doll, an LOL surprise doll, and a little sister into the Blossom family. That's right, a family inspired by one of our favorite characters from the Powerpuff Girls. So you definitely have to watch this video till the end because it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Let's get started, guys. We're gonna make Lil Blossom first. Grab a small piece of fair tree clay and cover the top of our doll's head to give her a new hairdo. And we're also gonna make a super long ponytail for her. And with our modeling tool, we're gonna give her hair some texture, starting with the bangs, then the sides, and finally the ponytail. Now let's give her hair some color. A lovely carrot orange acrylic paint will make her look lovely. Make sure you spread out the paint evenly. Then, we're gonna need some pale rose acrylic paint for her cute top. Paint directly over our doll's torso area and a tiny bit of her neck and arms, like so. And with some bits of fair dry clay, we're gonna make her a super cool tutu. She will look adorable. Use your fingers to smoothen out the surface and shape the pleats. Something that cannot miss in a member of the Blossom family is the cute little bow. So let's make her one with a tiny piece of air dry clay and let's shape it with our modeling tool. Then we're gonna give it some color. This candy apple red is gonna look pretty amazing. Be careful not to paint the rest of her hair. Next, we're gonna paint her tutu with some of the same pale rose acrylic paint we used for her top. Do you think Lil Blossom has the same powers as Blossom from the show? Now grab an ultra thin brush and a tiny bit of jet black acrylic paint. Since her feet are pretty tiny, you gotta be ultra careful. Just some gentle strokes like these will do. And with some arctic white acrylic paint, we're gonna paint her thighs. Just like these guys. For that peculiar black stripe on her dress, we're gonna dip the tip of our modeling tool in some jet black acrylic paint and start painting like so. Lil Blossom is almost ready. We just need to paint the final details, like her eyes. This cute taffy pink will be perfect for her. Make sure you don't paint the white parts or her pupils. And for the final touch, we're gonna make her eyes look super shiny with a little bit of clear nail polish. Let's take a look at the final results. <laughs> Wow, Lil Blossom looks simply adorable! I love how cute her outfit is, especially that lovely tutu. Also, the colors we use for her hair and her outfit are perfect. She's so lovely! Our next transformation is gonna be Lil Blossom's brother, Blossom Boy. So let's start by giving him a new hairdo with a big chunk of air dry clay. Let's give his hair some texture. You just need to draw a few lines like these ones with your modeling tool. There! And with a tiny bit of carrot orange acrylic paint, we're gonna give it some color. The Powerpuff Girls are one of my favorite shows ever. And Blossom is super smart. Do you think her kids are that way too? Now, let's paint his face. Have you guys seen that episode in which Blossom discovers she has ice bread? Do you think Blossom Boy has it too? This LOL outfit is gonna be perfect for him, but we're only gonna need the jacket. So let's use our scissors to cut out the shorts. Be very careful, guys. Time to work on his outfit. First, we need to paint the jacket with some vermilion red acrylic paint. Then, we need to paint his tee with some arctic white acrylic paint. He's gonna have such a cool look. And don't forget about the black stripe along his tee. Use an ultra thin brush like this one and a little bit of jet black acrylic paint. Now, we're gonna make a pair of pants for him. Just grab a big chunk of air dry clay and start covering his legs. You can use a modeling tool to make the cool details and the texture. Then, we need to paint his pants completely black, just like this. For his shoes, we're gonna use these LOL sneakers, but we need to trim off the high part. So grab your scissors and cut like this. And let's paint them black. Paint everything except for the sole of the sneakers. Now, let's make a cool accessory for him. Grab an LOL hat like this one and paint it with a little bit of the candy apple red acrylic paint. He's gonna look pretty neat. And as you can tell, we've already put on his hat. The only thing that's missing are the details of his eyes. Let's paint his irises with some taffy pink acrylic paint. Then we can make them look super shiny with a little bit of clear nail polish. Are you guys ready to see how Blossom Boy looks? Here we have Blossom Boy! He looks pretty cool and adorable at the same time! I really love his outfit! Just look at that cool jacket, those neat sneakers, and that sweet red hat! 
Let's move on to our next transformation, Blossom Dad. Grab your candle and some white acrylic paint and start by giving him a pair of cool long white socks. Now let's make him a cool tea. We're gonna use cans as a stencil. Lay it on a piece of black fabric and trace the contour like so. Then we have to cut out the shape we just traced. Since we are gonna need two of the same pieces, you can fold the fabric so you can cut them both at the same time. And now we can stick both pieces together. Just apply some clear glue along the edges of both pieces of the tea. Once the glue is dry, we're gonna turn it inside out to hide away the flaps. And let's also make a cool hoodie for him. Grab a can jacket and trace its contour on this cute piece of pink fabric like so. Let's cut it out, just like we did with the tee. We're gonna fold the fabric like this so we can cut the two pieces. Cut them at the same time. Then use a little bit of clear glue to stick both pieces together. Remember that once the glue is dry, we need to turn it inside out to hide the flaps. Now we need to cut the hoodie open. Try to cut as straight as possible, right through the chest area. To make the details of the cuffs, we're gonna fold this strip of fabric, wrap it around our doll's wrists, fix it in place with some clear glue and then trim off the excess of fabric. It's time to make his hood. All you need to do is spread some clear glue around this area of the shoulders and attach a piece of fabric like this one. And since he's a member of the Blossom family, he's gonna need a cool black stripe on his outfit. So we're gonna glue on this black ribbon to the sides of his sleeves. He's gonna look super neat! Time to make him a cool pair of shorts. So just like we did with the rest of the clothes, we're gonna trace the contour of the shorts on some black fabric. Then cut out two pieces with our scissors by folding the fabric. Then glue them together and wait till the glue dries so we can turn them inside out. Look, we've already put on his shorts! And now we're gonna give them a cool trim by attaching this black ribbon around the bottom part of the shorts. These shoes are gonna be perfect for Blossom Dad. We just need to paint them with a little bit of jet black acrylic paint. Remember to leave a thin white trim at the soles. Next, we're gonna give his hair that peculiar carrot orange color, just like the rest of his family. And once the paint is dry, we're gonna grab a big chunk of air dry clay, put it on top of his head, and use your fingers to shape it like a sweet baseball cap. Then, we're gonna paint the cap with some pale rose acrylic paint. He's beginning to look pretty cool, don't you think, guys? For the final touch, we're gonna paint his eyes with a teeny tiny bit of taffy pink acrylic paint. Blossom Dad is ready, come and take a look! Here is Blossom Dad, guys! Isn't he the coolest dad ever? I simply love his outfit! That hoodie with the stripes on the sleeves and those shorts make him look super awesome! It's time for our last transformation of the day, Blossom Mom. So we're gonna start by painting her legs entirely white to make her ties. The top part of this cute dress is gonna be the perfect stencil to make Blossom Mom's top. Just lay it on a piece of pink fabric like this one and trace its contour. Then we need to cut it out with our scissors. Remember to also cut two holes for her arms. Now we just need to put it on, adjust it to make it look fitted. Fix it in place with a little bit of clear glue and then trim up the excess of fabric. We're gonna make a super cute pleated skirt for her. First, we're gonna need a super long strip of the pink fabric like this one. And to make the pleats, we're gonna grab some thread and a needle and we're gonna strip it through the fabric like this. Wow, how cute! Now, you just need to put it around her waist and fix it in place. You can trim off the excess of fabric later. And for her cool black stripe, we're gonna grab this black ribbon and we're gonna touch it around her waist like this. Wow, her dress is gonna look lovely! To make her unique red ribbon, we're gonna use some air dry clay. First, you need to shape it with your fingers and then you can add some texture with the help of your modeling tool. Once the clay is dry, we can paint the ribbon red. I think this is definitely my favorite feature from Blossom's outfit. It is just super neat! These black high heels are gonna be perfect for her. We're gonna leave them as they are, but we're gonna paint a strap over her feet with some jet black acrylic paint. She's almost ready, guys! We just need to make her eyes look exactly like the rest of her families by painting them with a teeny tiny bit of taffy pink. Let's take a look! Wow, Blossom Mom was definitely my favorite transformation of the day! 
she looks gorgeous with that amazing dress and that super cute ribbon. That was it for today, guys. Here we have our Blossom family. First, we have the beautiful Blossom mom with that gorgeous pleated dress and her big red ribbon. Next to her is Blossom boy. He's pretty cool and cute. Then we have Lil Blossom, the most adorable member of the family. And finally, we have the super cool Blossom dad, rocking that sweet pink hoodie and those black shorts. Let us know in the comments below which of these Powerpuff transformations was your favorite. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more fantastic transformations. Don't forget to give us a like and that we love you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.